Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, it's Amy Kinsey here, and I just wanted to pop in for our at eight. Sorry, just making sure everything works and figuring out where my camera is on my phone because it's sideways. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, uh, just wanted to say good morning, everybody, and um, again, yeah, I'm Amy Kinsey. I'm the kids director here at Radiant Life. And yes, I am married to Pastor Brandon, and I do feel like I need to just share a little tidbit about how awesome he is because he does make me coffee every morning, and so I should be uh, more appreciative sometimes, <laughs> um, and just, I do, I do appreciate him very much. Uh, good morning, Terry. Good morning, Nancy. <clears throat> um, and so we are continuing um, talking about holiness and what does that look like in our um, city and in our church, in our church. Um, good morning, Megan, uh, Hiska and Megan Chip. Good morning. Um, and so um, today's reading is going to be um, in John 17. Um, and man, what I love about this um this whole the ch chapter 17 is just, um, it's, it's Jesus praying. Um, and what I love is that like right before this, um, a couple of things right before this, it's where Jesus is meeting with the disciples and they're having the last supper. Um, and he's explaining to them about how he's going to be leaving. Um, and, and then he goes into um, chapter 17 where he just prays. Um, and I love that we get to have um, the words that Jesus prayed. And I think for me, it's like sometimes you just don't know what to pray. Um, and I know um, in my faith and walking, um, just having that confidence um, in what to say and how to pray and what to pray for. Um, and so this is why I love this piece, because Jesus totally gives us what we can pray for. And he does that in multiple times for scripture, too. But um, just and then that assurance of knowing that he he's praying for us as believers and what he wants from us um, and how he wants us to be in unison. And, and that's really what um, today's. Um, topic at today's prayer focus um, is about is being what unity is in the church um, and what does that look like um, and so I'm going to dive right in um, and it's verses 20 through 23 um, and Jesus is he's he's first he's prayed for himself um, and then he prays for his disciples. And then this next, where we're going to pick up, it says, uh, Jesus prays for all believers. Um, so yes, that means us. He's praying for us. He prayed for us. And this is what he said. I pray not only for these, which meaning the disciples, but also for those who believe in me through their word. May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe you sent me. I have given them the glory you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. I am in them, and you are in me, so that they may be made completely one, that the world may know you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. Um, and man, that's, <laughs> um, like Jesus is wanting us and is praying for us to be in one with him, just like he was in one with the father. And in order to, um, for the mission of non-believers, um, so that when people look at us as followers of Jesus, they will know that Jesus loves them, even though they don't know him yet. And that that's, is what um, the church should be, 
is that example of God's love, of Jesus's love for the lost. And so I'm just, I'm reminded of our, our mission, <laughs> right? Um, here at Radiant Life is to be transformed, right? By the word of God and through Holy Spirit um, and that we are making disciples who are making disciples and that we have a heart for the lost. Like that is, that is our mission. And so Jesus is praying that over us so that we can be one with him so that people who don't know him will know that he loves them. And so I guess um, that's, yeah, just in my heart, I as I'm reading through this and been praying for this and prepping for this, it's like, okay, Lord, Holy Spirit, what is in me that is not drawing people closer to you? Um, and help me transform that. Help me fix my eyes on you so that when people see me, they see you. Because that's really our mission as believers. And in telling them about Jesus and how much he loves them. Um, and so, um, I would encourage you that, um, that you would pray that as well. And like, where is God needing to be, um, where is Holy Spirit need to transform you more, um, and give that to him so that we can be in unison with the church and that we can be looking more like Jesus. Um, and so I will close us in, with prayer. Um, and, um, I just, yeah, just thank you guys so much uh, for hopping on here and allowing us to share our hearts and to um, just be with you this morning and to share God's word with you and um, just a little bit of um, what he's doing in my life. Um, and so I'm praying that for you as well. Um, so Heavenly Father, um, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for your love and um, your son, Jesus that that before we were even born he's praying for us <laughs> that he prayed that we would be one with you father and so may each and every one of us as believers in you may we continue to as a church body be one lord that when we are um if there's something that we are frustrated about, Lord, may we present that to you and may we bring those concerns to you before those concerns come out of our mouth. Uh, Lord, may we just continue to be with you and allow Holy Spirit to transform us, Father, so that we may look more like your son, Jesus, that we may be more in tune with you and in unison with you as a church and as a body of believers so that those who don't know you yet will come into a deep passionate relationship with you because they will say those people are set apart those people are different because of the work of you Holy Spirit in our lives and I want that for me so, Lord, may those who are not in relationship with you yet, may they see a beautiful difference in us as believers. May we reflect your love well. And we ask these things in your precious and holy name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you all so much for coming on and hopping on with me. Um, and just being with us this whole 21 days um, at 8. It's been super fun. Um, and so I pray you all have a blessed day um, and that you allow Holy Spirit to transform you. Thanks. <laughs>